Welcome everyone to another edition of Jazzy Fight Night. My name is Mutant XP and welcome to the Jazzy Fight Night 2 pre-show. And so for those of you who are uninitiated and this is your first time tuning in on the stream, what is Jazzy Fight Night? Jazzy Fight Night is a monthly stream show where we feature four different first to ten sets from different multiple online platforms of Dirt Strike. So as some of you may or may not know, there are a, a plethora of ways to play Third Strike online. And so if you've ever caught something called Evil Moment 37, or maybe saw some random YouTube Third Strike videos, uh, definitely consider uh, picking it up. There's uh, a whole lot of ways to uh, get uh, started on the game. And so as far as this show goes, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, on the last Friday of every month, uh, what we do is uh, all of the online scenes come together and we, and they each uh, volunteer a set, a first to ten set, uh, on their particular platform. And so on this show, uh, we're going to have, uh, in this on this episode, we're going to have a uh, first to ten set from PS4, PlayStation 4, 30th anniversary, a 30th anniversary on Steam, Fight K2 Beta, the new Fight K2 Beta. I'm not really sure exactly what the official name is, but we'll get to that when we uh, when we get to it. Uh, and then finally, last but not least, uh, one of the pioneers of online Third Strike, uh, the Xbox 360 Online Edition. And so, uh, before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and introduce all of our uh, online scene reps. And so these guys are very important putting together the show. Uh, each of these individuals uh, could be considered uh, sort of, uh, I guess, pillars of their respective online scenes. Uh, and so basically what uh, the, the way we do Jazzy Fight Night is I reach out to uh, all of these individuals and they basically give me the sets that they think should be on the show. And so uh, it's a sort of a community effort. Everyone has input. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and just go down the line uh, and introduce all the reps. And so uh, representing Fightcade community, we got AC Slayer. How's it going, AC? Hey, it's going really well. Thanks for having me, Mutant. No problem. Uh, from Steam, we have uh, Locus. How's it going, Locus? Pretty good. Thanks for having me. All right. Awesome. From Xbox 360, the Xbox 360 holdovers, we have none other than the Lance Show Lance. Thank you, Lance, for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks. Hello. And last but certainly not least, follow this man on Twitter. Let's get him into quadruple digit followers, guys, by the end of the year. We got the rep for PlayStation 430th. We got Venka bot in the house. How's it going, Venka? What's up, dude? It's going great, man. Thanks for having me on. Awesome. And so before we go any further, I want to just go ahead and just uh, go over the rules again. You know, for those of you. Uh, who are familiar with fighting games, uh, first to tens, basically two players playing a set. W the, the player that gets to uh, f the first to ten wins, wins. And so that's basically what we're doing here at Jazzy Fight Night. Again, we got four first to ten sets from four different online platforms, PS4, Steam, Xbox 360, and the new Fightcade beta. And so basically the rules, uh, some of the things that we might want to keep in mind, guys. Uh, and so these first attempts are not character lock. And so the players uh, can switch characters if, if they wish. Uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, I was really going back and forth, guys, on whether or not this should be character lock. I mean, I really, in my heart, wanted it to be character lock. But then, you know, there are, I don't know, the, 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 sometimes, you know, making a character lock can make the set a little less interesting. But anyway... Be it that as it may, uh, Jazzy Fight Night is not character lock, first to ten, and uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, judgment uh, is in effect, okay? We allow the three S gods to determine our fates, okay? And so if you have the unfortunate circumstance of getting into judgment, judgment does count. All right, and so let's go ahead and get started with the pre-show. And so during the pre-show, we're going to go ahead and break down some of the four or the four uh, matchups that we have tonight and so uh, the first matchup I wanted to talk about is coming from your uh, online scene Vankabot. Uh, we got uh, from PS4 we have Shiva Jones 
uh, taking on Wade Local. So Shiva Jones is a New York City-based uh, third strike player. Uh, not too far from me, Wade Local, uh, out there in uh, Wisconsin, part of the Scrub Series crew. And so uh, these two players are relatively new to the scene, uh, about two or three years experience. This is coming from PS4. Vanka, tell us a little bit about this setup. Uh, tell us a little bit about this matchup. You know, what was your thinking and uh, what do you expect from these two? Yeah, I'm really pumped, dude. My thinking here was that it'd be kind of nice to have like a set to start us off uh, maybe with some learning players, some student players kind of like myself. Uh, PS4 is a really fast growing platform where a lot of players are relatively new to the game. Of course, you guys know twitch.tv slash scrub series, you guys know Wade. Uh, that whole Wisconsin community has been going hard for a couple of years now. And what's really cool is they all joined the game together. So they all kind of been kind of learning uh, side by side. And uh, Wade has grown really, really fast. He was a Q player for uh, a couple of years. He's been playing Alex recently. And as an Alex player myself, I've been really impressed with his uh, Alex growth. I think he uh, has a pretty good chance to hit some pretty sick shit against Shiva Jones. That being said, Shiva Jones is a player that I met when we moved to PS4. And uh, as he explains it to me, he was a arcade player back around the turn of the millennium when the game was still uh, popular in arcades. And uh, like a lot of players of Third Strike, he's been kind of on and off of it. Uh, he hasn't been playing consistently. And uh, his uh, Akuma is kind of unconventional in that it's very ground-based. His movement is something he needs to work on quite a bit. But that being said, uh, despite his uh sort of uh, fixation with staying on the ground and fighting there he's uses uh akuma's tools differently than i've seen anybody use them which is to say he's got a pretty good sense of space pretty good sense of how to exercise akuma's normals on the ground and i think it's gonna be a pretty even set i hope uh, between the two of them all right awesome guys so that's from ps4 we got shiva jones aka teardrop jones on psn versus wade local and so before we go any further just wanted to remind everyone that we are running a match arena for tonight's a jazzy fight night and so remember that all participants get paid out and so we might as well go ahead and take a look at the match arena real quick and so you can just go over to uh you can just uh on uh, in the twitch chat you can do a uh, uh, exclamation donate or exclamation match arena and that'll take you to the link and that'll give you the link to tonight's match arena uh there's a free 50 cent donation just enter the code jfn2 for Jazzy Fight Night 2, we're already up to $104.40, and so we got a ton of. There's a ton of ways to contribute. Obviously, you can uh, donate using the code, absolutely free. Just sign up uh, for Match Reno, enter the code JFN2, and 50 cents gets added directly to the prize pool. Obviously, you can contribute directly uh, through uh, PayPal or whatever uh, type of payment that 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 you prefer. Uh, you can also buy some merchandise. Uh, you can buy a Jazzy Circuit T-shirt. Uh, it's twenty dollars plus shipping and handling, and then for every shirt purchased uh, for this uh, campaign, eight dollars goes to the prize pool. Uh, and we got uh, some uh, cool stickers from our uh, friends at Creative Flame. Um, they don't just do uh, third strike stickers; they do uh, a lot of retro uh, stickers as well. And so definitely check out the match arena. We're at one hundred four dollars and ninety cents. And so please consider donating to the prize pool. Remember, everyone gets paid out. And so let's talk about set number two. And so uh, our set uh, coming from Steam is going to be G-Type versus Everdread. Uh, two players that have played offline and online, Everdread, uh, with the sizable uh, experience. Uh, G-Type uh, out there on an island, literally, uh, but very strong Makoto, uh, very proficient in the 100%. And so uh, Locus, uh, as our Steam rep, uh, tell us a little bit about how this match came about and, you know, what you guys expect from this match. Uh, well, um, both are very good uh, friends of mine. I have extensive experience playing both of them. Um, I thought that they would, I thought that the matchup would be a good matchup, uh, the Remy Makoto matchup. Because mm -hmm. it can be lame, but it can also be uh, not lame. It can kind of go either way. Um, and I just know that these guys know each other pretty well, and I, I, I think that we can count on a pretty long set mm -hmm. with these guys, a close set. Um, and that's about it. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, you know, uh, AC Slayer, uh, G-Type, is also uh, play, uh, has also have, had an extensive history on Fightcade. And so, Ooh, anything right. you want to add uh, to, to, to Locus's thoughts in terms of... Uh, okay, uh, yeah. First of all, shout out to G-Type. You know, seriously, I mean, last tournament we did, um, the uh, the Game Newton fundraiser, G-Type, uh, yeah, he, he he played really well. Yeah, he and um, 
I, I, I imagine he's um, going to surprise a lot of people as well, too. So that was I'm actually gonna... part of the reason why I <laughs> thought of him immediately was how good he did at that tournament. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, it, it, it's great, you know, seeing uh, seeing G-Type evolve, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that uh, there are players are playing on all sorts of platforms, you know. Um, I know G-Type also um, plays offline, too. So, yeah, it, it, it's great, you know. Um, so I got to say, go G-Type. Awesome, awesome. And so, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't say a few words about my guy Everdread, one of the first ever American Remy players. We got two, like, if there was like an American, we got two? if there was like, what? if there was like an American Remy Mount Rushmore, these two players are flat out on that run Mount Rushmore. Would you consider, guys? I mean, I don't know how hot of a take that is, but I think that's pretty, pretty, uh, you know, a pretty reasonable. Uh, uh, argument what do you think ac uh you know as far yeah as i mean i mean uh, this is a good segue am, am, I, am I up next do i just go into this and talk about dagger g or do you do you, do you want to continue with this mount rushmore analogy here oh no 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 i, I just thought maybe i would be a good segue so you see so you were reading you, you read my mind ac slayer you, all right you, all right you, you well, well yeah okay higher level so, so yeah fight yeah, two. Ever dread. Yeah, let, let me just say something. Um, so yeah, Everdread, I played him a few times. Um, yeah, he is he is very good. Speaking of that Mount Rushmore, there there are not too many notable like North American Remy's because it is a character that is considered you know weaker. It's hard to play him. Um, but all the good ones, you 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 know who they are, and that is obviously Dagger G and Everdread. I mean, there are there are a few others like um, I think Al Gendi is another one that kind of made a name for himself for a little bit. I think Bo Dallas had a decent Remy as well too. But um, but yeah, let's let's get right into it for the fight cade match um well i like like uh, mutant said we don't really know what to call the, the new platform but i'll just call it fight cade uh we got um yeah we got a uh, dagger g old school remy from hawaii he's been playing fighting games since 2004 and actually before he played third strike um yeah he he, he played mvc2 uh cvs2 um super turbo um Street Fighter 2, like he has extensive um, experience there. And the very first time I actually heard about Dagger G was actually at Evo, where um, there was like an old school video cam footage, still on YouTube, where he beats Justin Wong uh, perfect in one round. And he actually he actually beats Justin Wong that he sends him to losers. Wow. But um, I believe that was like what 2006. You guys can YouTube it. Um, so I was like, wow, Remy um, doing pretty well. Um, and then recently, I, um, I I saw Dagger G, you know, on Fight Kid. I was like, hey, this is great. We got another strong player coming back. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, all all I can say right now is that uh, he's looking better than ever. I saw him play Neiman like just an hour ago. Mm -hmm. um, so that was pretty close. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I, I definitely got to say that that um, that Dagger G is very good. He's he's very um, he's very good with his movement. Um, he, he he's great. It's really really hard to hit him plays a very defensive type of style um and and his opponent is actually big dan aka drew Doss, mm -hmm. aka one of the heroes from supercuts um you guys probably know who big dan is um or drew Doss, but essentially he's been playing like third strike for a long time i remember like um, they used to call him Black Pyro, <laughs> like from Family Fun. <laughs> I that. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. They used to call him Black that. Pyro because because he first picked up Yun. You know, that's what he did at, at Family Fun, and and there were only like what there weren't too many Yun players back then. It was Pyro Lee, mm -hmm. Michael Foss, and and also uh, Judas, and he would come every once in a while. But um, shout outs to like um, James Games in Upland, California. Like a lot of people in in SoCal, you know, either played at FFA, Arcade Infinity, James Games, UCLA. Um, so, what Judas, like, Judas basically, um, he kind of played Third Strike during my era, where we had, um, it, it was basically the, uh, the mecca of Third Strike at that time, you know, in, in Southern California. Um, so he would play at James Games, then he'd show up at Family Fun, and it's, it's like going to, to night school. Like, you know, you go to school for Third Strike and you go to night school. Um, but anyway, Judas is going to use um, probably Goki or Ken, either or. He's very solid. Um, in fact, uh, if there was one thing I want to say about the matchup in particular, Judas actually played um, Dagger G in the finals of the Amateur Cup uh, last month. And, uh, and and Judas actually won uh, just just barely, ed edged out two sets, uh, three to two. And that so, was run by the uh, Basement Dwellers? Yeah, the Basement Dwellers, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, so that, that's what happened finals. in the grand finals. Um, um, yeah, Judas had had a little bit of an edge. In terms of actually, I have a question for you, mutant. Like, I'm I'm sort of uh, done kind of introducing my uh, my players, but um, how do you feel about about the Remy and and Goki matchup? You know, I I don't really use either character, but um, it's always entertaining to watch. Uh, what's your opinion about it? Well, the the the, the thing that sticks out to me right away about that matchup ac slayer is that both characters actually really don't want to be anywhere near each other right like like the the, the damage potential uh both ways uh, and the stun potential is, is is very 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 high and so that's yeah, like the yeah. first thing i think about about that matchup it's like neither of them really like it's pretty risky for both of them to kind of go on the offensive um, yeah i think so, yeah remy remy's got what you know, short of from the yeah. game yeah, I think uh, Remy does think have Akuma, the show. Akuma and Remy, I think, are tied. Yeah, I think they're tied. So, and, uh, you know, Remy's life isn't that much better than Goki's. Uh, and so it's a, it's a, that's the first thing that kind of pops up in my in my mind, right? Like, how, like how, how are they going to approach one another? How, how aggressive are they going to be? How mindful are they going to be? You know, who, which players are going to show early on that they're going to know how to do the proper punishes, the max punishes or the counters and stuff like that? How is that going to develop into the to the rest of the, the set? That's what I'm really excited about, AC. Yeah, for sure. So um, I'll, just, I'll give you guys some feedback, um, like in terms of what I saw in that tournament. It looked like, um, so Daguji likes to play like, um, obviously um, from full screen, you know, uh, throw out the Sonic Booms, Cold Blue Kick every once in a while, play super safe, a um, lot of dashing back, a lot of um, being very, really shifty and using Remy's mobility with the quick- Cause you can't be mobile. Out. You can't be mobile with your Remy, AC Slayer. It's it's it, yeah. it'll eventually it'll it'll get back it'll get it'll catch up with you, you know what I mean? Right, right. I, I sort of just meant like his ability to like move yeah. backwards <laughs> and, and like dodge. Um, I guess the mm -hmm. footsie range of, of Ken. Um, so that's what he was um getting a lot of utility from. But for Big Ben, um, I I, I feel like he's just uh, very very solid. He's able to sort of like weather through that storm and then um land a hit confirm and sort of just play a little bit better neutral than um than dagger g so if i were, if i was to make a prediction i i know it's not there right now i, I think um big dan has a bit of an edge here yeah you know and, and again just from a strategic standpoint kind of like the point i was making uh the thing i'm most interested about this is who's going to be the aggressor in the set uh who's going to be the one that's going to you know uh initiate the action more who's going to be the one to force the issue more and uh and how is the opponent going to respond to that to me that's kind of the key of the set uh, and so anyone else want to chime in on Big Dan versus uh, a Dagger G? Anyone have any uh, stories or memories of Dagger G? I have a story. I don't know if anyone you know wants to hear my story. But uh, the first time I met Dagger G was at Family Fun. And he beat Mike Watson in tournament. And I was like, with Remy. And this was like in like the early 2000s, right, AC? I know, I know some of you are, uh, you know, right. might be familiar with that, with that, with that era. Uh, and so... You know, pretty much we had like low tiers were like, like, have you ever played Final Fantasy VI, guys? And you go to that island. I fucking, you know, I forgot the name of the island. You know, the island where you, you, you get that, there's that, there's that character that learns the attacks of other monsters. What's characters? What, what's the name of that character? Anyone, anyone remember the name of that character? I don't know. Okay, never mind. Well, anyway, so you go to this island to learn all of the, like, the, the you know the random you know monsters or aliens right and like back then like low tiers were so kind of foreign like wow like nobody wanted to use a lot of these characters you know i don't know if that was you know your impression too ac but back in the day like when it started it, it didn't seem like there was a whole lot of character variety particularly at like say the, the top level right um but maybe that's just kind of the way the game had to develop i don't know but and so like for for dagger g to come in with remy you know and, and at the time in cali we didn't really have really anyone that kind of played him like that much uh the velt yeah that's right the velt katie and so for him to just kind of like like just beat mike watson's ken i was like wow that, that was crazy but anyway so that's my that's my uh, dagger g story glad to see him back and so, yeah, I mean, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I just want to add one more thing. <laughs> What's funny is that, like, uh, Dagger G, like, looks identical. He's, like, the spinning image of my brother. Uh -huh. Like, 
yeah, it's super funny. I'm not gonna share his picture. I just mean like it's really funny every single time. And then and then I sent my brother's picture to Dagger G. He's like, oh yeah, I kind of do look like him. Super funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go ahead. All right. Well, yeah. moving on. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to segue with that. Sorry. Uh, give me a second. Oh, actually, I do know. Uh, some of uh, a lot of you uh, in the last couple of weeks have been curious about how, you know, you might, you know, how you could get on Jazzy Fight Night. You know, like I explained on the first episode, you know, what I do is I have these players that are in the call with me right now, these online reps, and I just kind of let them sort of decide what set to put on Jazzy Fight Night. But if there's anyone that's interested in being on a future episode of Jazzy Fight Night, you can go ahead and actually fill out this form. And uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, copy and paste the link here uh, in the chat. And so you can just go ahead and copy and paste that. Um, that's not the right form. That's not the right link, is it? Let me... Uh, Oh, yeah, I have a copy. Do you want me to just paste it in the chat? Yeah, I think. No, I got it. Uh, I think. Uh, okay. I just put a. I just put an equal mark instead of a dash. Okay, that's not it either. Okay, yeah, I don't know what it is. Just copy and paste it. I, I guess I forgot it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Dude. In the chat. Yeah, I already put it in Twitch chat. Oh, in the Twitch chat. Okay, yeah. All right. So yeah, just go to that. Go to that form. That I tried to uh, copy and paste, but failed. Uh, shout out to AC for the for that clutch moment there. And so, um, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, go to this form, tinyurl. Uh, com slash the Jazzy Circuit dash JFN uh, three JFN two three S. And so this is the Jazzy uh, Fight Night interest form. And so uh, if you're interested in being a part of uh, Jazzy Fight Night, uh, a future episode of Jazzy Fight Night, just go ahead and uh, fill out some of these questions. And, uh, you know, if you're selected, we'll uh, let you know. All right. And so now we've come to our uh, fourth and final set of the night that uh, we have to talk about. And that's coming from Xbox 360. And so uh, our online rep from Xbox 360, Lance, welcome to Jazzy Fight Night, Lance. Uh, I appreciate your uh, participation. Thank you. Hey, hey, uh, yeah, thanks for having me on. <laughs> so uh, for uh, 360, uh, we got uh, two players, very, very strong players, offline and on. B-Tran versus Mommy, Xbox 360 Online Edition. Ooh. I know everyone's hyped for some 360. And so, uh, Lance, uh, what, do you, what, what do you have to uh, say about this set? Okay, yeah, sure. So B-Tran is uh, like a young college student. You know, he's uh, in his early 20s. He was born like three years before the game even came out. Uh, and he started fairly recently. Like I would call him what, what I call the OE generation of players who started in like 2011 to 2015. You know, it's like a certain group of players that started then. Uh, and he's been playing on online and in SoCal since then. Uh, he means Jun. He's been working a lot on his Dudley lately, lately. And I think he might pick either of them tonight. Uh, so then Makoto Mike is a NorCal mm -hmm. player who's a Makoto player, and he's been playing for years, right? He, uh, if you go back and watch all the old Evos, uh, one of the years he made top eight at Evo. Mm -hmm. So he's like, so as whereas Bethel is, is an up and coming, hungry young player who's been improving steadily, and now he's considered one of the better players in his scene. Mm -hmm. uh, Makoto Mike's been really great for a long time. And uh, so he, you know, this is like a seasoned veteran versus a young up and coming player. And um, like, they both uh, at DTN, this last DTN, uh, Chassis Finale, they both made it out of their pools and into the uh, groups of four, or like just below top 16. So in terms of recent results, actually, they're pretty comparable too. So I'm looking forward to like an exciting uh, competitive match between them both. Now, not to put you on the spot, Lance, but uh, remember that Jazzy Fight Night is not character lock. And so, I mean... The guy has the character's name in his actual name. So, <laughs> you know, I don't even really see any kind of scenario where Makoto Mike would, would switch. But, <laughs> right, yeah. but but what are your feelings about, you know, what's your what's your sense about whether or not uh, Bessels is going to be comfortable running in, uh, you know, if, uh, you know, if any, if anything, you know, all the way? Huh, yeah, well, I think he feels comfortable in the match either way, right? Like, he has experience with Yun versus, like, Arliath and uh, some other local Makotos. Uh, I think he just wants to see maybe, like, he has... 
Oh, just uh, Lance, if you could just uh, repeat the last five seconds of what you said. I think you cut out there. Did uh, Lance, uh, I think Lance may have uh, cut out there. But that's okay. Lance, can you hear us? Lance. Ah, power outage. Okay. So, hope Lance is safe out there. Power outage out in uh, his, uh, his neck of the woods. And so, hopefully that doesn't happen during the 360 set. Knock on wood. Uh, I know a thing or two about having power outages during matchups. You know, I don't know if anyone remembers that. But anyway, that's for another day and another time. And so, guys, uh, we're uh, just about five minutes away from uh, Jazzy uh, Fight Night 2. You and made it? And so, you know, just real quickly, guys, you know, tell me, you know... Uh, you know, uh, something that you guys may have remembered for those of you who tuned in on the first episode. Uh, in addition to the players getting paid out through the match arena, there's also uh, a portion of that match arena that's going to be set aside for the two players that are involved in the jazzy fight of the night. And so shortly, you know, during the break uh, between the third and the fourth set, uh, we're going to uh, open the poll. Uh, for people to vote on who they think deserves the uh, award for uh, Jazzy Fight of the Night. And, uh, you know, uh, and also, uh, I think I mentioned them uh, earlier in the stream, Creative Flame, uh, you know, the guys that do the, the stickers and the Thirst Strike stickers and the Marvel CV, uh, CV and the MVC2 stickers. And so, uh, you know, they've agreed that, you know, if you vote uh, for the poll, uh, we're going to pick uh, whoever voted out of random, and they're going to get a uh, free uh, five-sticker set, uh, courtesy of Creative Flame. And so, for those of you who uh, go in, go on Twitter, and vote for who you think should be fight of the night, uh, you basically automatically enter a chance to win uh, these uh, five-sticker uh, set from uh, Creative Flame. And so, I encourage you guys to vote. We're almost there, guys. Three minutes away. Anything else you guys wanted to add about your sets? AC Slayer, we'll just go down the line. AC Slayer, what are you looking, what, what, what are you looking forward to the most? One thing uh, about about the rest of the uh, about the rest of the card. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I, like it, I think it was cutting out a little bit. Uh, can you repeat the last? Uh, yeah, man. Like, yeah, one thing, one thing that, 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 that you're looking forward to about tonight's uh, fight card. Dude. Okay. Um. Well. One thing. One thing, let's see. I'm looking forward to Dagger G redeeming himself and uh, and finally taking out Big Dan. I think he can do it. Awesome, awesome. Locus, Locus. Uh, yeah, I think I think I'd like to see um, the continual uh, incline of G type, uh -huh. but I do have to pull from my my New England native Everdread. Mm -hmm. um, I got to represent. Um, but looking forward to the most, I'm looking forward to some 100% stun combos. What mm. can I say? All right. All right. Vanka? Dude, I'm pumped about Everdread versus uh, G-Type, dude. Like, that's that's my vote for set of the night. It hasn't even started yet, bro. <laughs> it didn't even start yet. Like, you're, you're it hasn't even started yet, but Everdread's Remy versus G-Type's Mikado is going to be too sick. I can't All wait. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for appearing on the uh, Jazzy Fight Night 2 uh, pre-show. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take uh, about a two to three minute break. And then when we come back, we're going to kick off Jazzy Fight Night 2 with our set from PS4, courtesy of Vankabot, Wade Local from Wisconsin, taking on NYC Zone, Teardrop Jones. Don't go anywhere, guys. We're going to be back in about two or three minutes. This is Jazzy Fight Night 2. Oh, man. 